In this video, I'm going to show you how dimensions are basically working in Business Central. And I'm going to show this doing a small example, adding a new dimension value and adding that to a customer and then do some posting and see the effect in the chart of accounts. So first of all, I like to add a dimension value to one of my dimension and I'll go for my search tab looking for dimensions. And in here I can see that I have already defined two dimension, department and project. And I'll get back to later on how to set those up. I can define as many different as I want, uh, but only two of them can be globals. I'll show that in the end. So I'll select my dimension project and from my dimension tab, I will go into dimension values. And these are the values created right now for this dimension. I would like to add a new one, 49, and I will call it Mission Angeles because this is going to be used for customers or vendors, or especially customers that are not one of the other dimension I like to use here. So now I created a new dimension value. I will go to find my customer list. And on my customer rush and speed, there is no dimension setup. So from the customer card, I will go to navigate to set this dimension up, customer and dimensions. And here I can define default dimensions for this customer. So on my project dimension, I'd like to add the number 49 as a default dimension. So now this customer will have that default dimension being transferred to all kinds of documents for that customer. And it's possible, of course, to change on a specific document. After setting it up, I will create a new sales order for this customer. Just to make some postings that should apply into the chart of accounts. And I will add my customer here. And now there should be a default dimension on the sales order header. I can add my item number and some quantities. And if I want to view the default dimension that I could change if I wanted to, I can go into navigate orders and see the dimensions that was transferred from my customer till my sales order. But I'm not going to change that. I'm just going to post the sales order. And I will both ship an invoice to make some financial impact as well. And I'm not going to open the posted document. Now, if I look into my chart of accounts, right here, I can see my net change, of course, in the chart of accounts. And now I'd like to add a detail filter on my chart here. And I'd like to add filter by totals, by project filter. And the filter value was 49. So now I can see the amount directly in the chart of accounts that was just created for this specific sales order and coming from that dimension value. So I can navigate into all the entries with that dimension. Likewise, I could have overviewed all my other dimensions and the figures would be whatever coming from those dimensions. So it's a reporting tool. Two dimensions can be global and set up directly in the chart of accounts. And I can see those dimensions in my general ledger setup. I have here a fast tab showing the two dimensions and I would like if I'd like to change those two dimensions, which are the globals and this is not something you just do, it's a big exercise. I'll go to functions and change global dimension and in here I can select uh, new dimensions to be the two globals. Otherwise they will be what we call shortcut dimensions and you can evaluate the figures by a dimension analysis.